Good afternoon, St. Andrews. This is day eight of our corporate prayer and fasting. Today, we're gonna to be focused on this nation. I'll be reading to you Isaiah chapter 60, verses two through three, and it reads, See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and the king to, be, to the brightness of your down. I'll also read Proverbs chapter 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin condemns any people. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us go to God in prayer in this afternoon. Oh, Father, we thank you for your righteousness. We thank you, Father, that we come to you, Father, when we lean upon you, Father God, when we do your will and, you, and we're in your will, Father God, that you can cover us, Father God, and we can walk in the marvelous light, Father. So, Father God, we're asking right now in the name of Jesus that this nation, the United States of America, Father God, aligns up to your will, Father to do what you have called us to do, Father God, to be the people that you have called us to be, Father God. Father God, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that those who believe in you, Father God, will rise up to do what's right, Father God. Even those that are in the White House, those who are in the Senate, those who are in the House, those who are in the judicial seats, Father God. Father, even in our local government, those who say that they believe in you will rise up and do what you have called them to do. They will be the people that you have called them to be, not to line their pockets or to do what's the popular thing for the God, but, but, but to do what you say to do, Father. Father God, let us be mindful, Father God, that your word says that we Turn from our wicked ways. If we seek your face, Father God, you will heal our land, Father. So we thank you, Father God, that we know that as we do what you ask, Father God, you will you always respond, Father. And we know that you always keep your promises. Father God, we thank you. We praise you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for keeping us, Father God, even in the midst right now, Father God, even in the midst of everything that's going on in our nation, Father God, you still keep us, Father God. You still hold our hand, Father. And even when we let go and we come back, Father God, you're still right there where we left you, Father. So we continue to thank you and praise you, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen.